just finished up my last paper for Shaver, which is the last thing total. So I'm off to hand that in now. Hello. <laughs> I'm off to hand that in now, and then I am officially done with my undergraduate degree. So that's cool. I'm actually walking through the halls, and I sound feel really self-conscious. All right, so now I can say that I've graduated, I suppose, since I'm not walking. And now I'm walking outside. Hopefully it's not too windy because I just felt subconscious with all the people around inside, basically. Um, and for today, I have a proposal where, because we, we keep talking about books and all, like you're reading yours that was based off, well, that was done by the same person as that cancer writer dude. And like, I got you to read The Magicians. So, like we just talked about them. So I was thinking, what if we started like a book club where one of us says, okay, so this is either a really good book or this is one that I haven't read yet and will never read unless it's for a distinct reason or something like that. And then we act and then we, you know, read it after some, I don't know, two weeks or something. And then we talk about it. And I think that would be really cool. And if you like the idea, you can throw a book out. You can be number one. Kickstart it. Norepinephrine. <laughs> they still think I'm crazy. And as far as history goes, I don't have a history fact today. Well, story, I suppose. These are more than just facts. But I can tell you about igloos. <laughs> and just sort of how they work. Because, you know, they're made out of snow, so you'd think that they would not keep you warm, but in fact they do. So, first off, igloos aren't actually lived in, like, year-round. They're more temporary dwellings, like when people go off to go off on hunting trips and whatnot. Or if the, you know, if the, enti if the entire uh, gathering group needs a place, then, you know, whatever. But, basically, I mean... An igloo does block the wind, which is a huge part of the problem right there. And when you build it all up, they're thick enough and all that they actually, that they can keep your body heat in. Like it's all in this one little sectionary area place inside of it. You know, so it's not escaping and all. And you'd think that it would melt, but really, I mean, the highest it'll get in there usually is around... I mean, the most heat that you and any potential like lanterns or whatever you're going to kick up are only going to bring it up to maybe 40 degrees on the inside. And say it's negative 40 outside, that still evens out to zero. So it's still pretty, you know, it's still nice enough inside and outside that it doesn't melt. I mean, some melting will occur just because of sun and everything. So actually, after a couple of days of being an igloo, after little bits of melting and then refreezing into ice, that's when it actually starts to get into really icy and refreezing, and so it's actually a lot better use then. It's just better at insulating because it's just frozen so solid strong then. And that's what I got. And I look like a clown because I'm hot and I'm cold at the same time. So there we are. So. I'm off to edit and give you surprise at the end of this video. Cheers! Hey okay. Eric, we all miss you and we love you. Um, so come back and visit. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>